Ja, ja Kori haid, uusi kaamugi. Let's take the players first. Uh, Kori Johnson, welcome. Uh, talk for Broad Game. Broad, 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 broad Game to you today. Uh, it's a, we can call it a local game. Uh, why is it started 12 to 2? Uh, your comment on the game. Yeah, I, uh, simply put, Kori Haid just didn't bring tonight um, the effort not there um, from the beginning and, and it, it went on until the end of the game. And I think you know, a, lot of, a lot of frustration built up pretty early in the game and, and unfortunately we carried that through with us and um, you know when people start pointing fingers and, and you know, I, you know I'm, a, I'm a part of that. Um, we're all on a team and um, we just you know when we were never able to put our heads into the game and uh, play the way we're capable. Effort has got to be there for put ourselves in position in basketball games. If you look at the, uh, your percentages behind the arc, you're usually a pretty good shooting team today. Uh, five out of 20, 29. Was it just a bad shooting day, or was there was there a uh, good defense against you today? Uh, you can credit um, the Bison on that. Uh, they they really did a good job of uh, scouting our team. I think they you know, they made us take tough shots. And um, you know, definitely we had our number when we came to run our offensive sets. And you know, we did have some open looks that we normally knock down. Um, but you know, I think you know their, their pressure on defense kind of threw us off, and we weren't able to adjust to that. Um, you know, and then we need to start practicing harder to practice with pressure on defense, and so we can make those game-like shots because we're capable of doing it. Any questions for you? Okay, thank you, Corey, and uh, best of luck for your rest of the season. Before the old quit, Phil, J5, first of all, congratulations, Jeff. Uh, player of the in the league, you've been in Phil in quite a few years, but I guess that was your first player of the month. Yeah, it's a big honor. Uh, big honor. I'm very grateful. and. Uh, to my teammates and my coach, uh, and um, just motivation for us all to work hard. There's a big long season ahead. There was a live coverage to to stay to your family during the during the time you got the prize. How did that felt for you? It was great. It was great. It was great to have him so far away, but still be a part of it. Because Jimmy, Jimmy, those young men had the big old talk of the game. Jackson, you know, with me, and so on. Uh, pretty much the best of best game, let's say the total of 40 minutes for, for Bisons today. Uh, you had some rough start during the season, but today the whole team was pretty pretty damn ready. You had a hard game against Salah during the weekend. Uh, how did you how did you get back in business? Well, we had a big win against Kate, uh, Kataya a few weeks ago, and, and then we had a big letdown a couple of days later against La Parenta. So, you know, kind of similar situation. Big win on the road, and, and we, we didn't want to drop off. So, coach had a good game plan, but it was on us, you know, to come out with the energy and focus to execute, and we did that. And uh, like you said, for a full 40 minutes, I think we all did really well, and executed it and stayed with it. So. Um, but a couple, couple days from now, we have another big, big game. So we got to move to that one now. Jeff, you're the good Thank you, Jeff. Um, once again, congratulations for the price. What about the problem with that? What do you have to file on that? Don't make it all. What's the core of your son about that? Siis se suurin ero nyt oli siinä, millä tavalla niin Viisonen tuli, tuli siihen pelaamiseen tai pelin sisälle, millä tavalla meidän, että niin heidän aggressiivisuutensa, aggressiivisuutensa puolustuspäässä verrattuna siihen, mitä me esitettiin puolustuspäässä, niin siellä oli valtava ero. Ja, ja 
kun tulee tuolla tavalla pelin sisällä, että Piisun tänään teki, niin selkeästi hyökkäyspelaaminen rentoutuu tulee paljon vapaammaksi. vapaammaksi. Me ollaan vähän niin kuin oltiin suorilla jalalla alussa, sen jälkeen saadaan jossain vaiheessa siinä kolmonen jakson aikana niin yksi neljä hyökkäistä peräkkäin, niin saatiin ihan vapaa heittopaikka, kaikki, menee, kaikki meni ohi. Ja sitten Piisun teki siitä sen neljännestä vai viidennestä hyökkäyksestä taas kupin toisen päähän. Kyllä se niinku ihan perustekemistä nyt lähtee, että niin vaatimustaso meillä on harjoituksessa ollut valitettavasti liian iso, tai tarpeeksi korkea ja siitä on koutsit katsoa itseään peilistä, että, niin, että siitä se lähtee. Sitten pitäisi olla vähän kovempia ja, ja, ja toi, 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 toi oikea sana siihen, että sana on näästi tuolla kohdissa pojille, että niin, sieltä vaan niin näin peleihin pääsee sisälle, että jos harjoitus on vaan kiltteen mukavia, niin Tulos on tämän näköinen, että viisi on tänään parempi joukkue ja 24 pinnaa, niin, niin, niin tuon esityksen jälkeen on numeroita valossa, niin sanotaan, että kehtaan meillä vielä kotiin, mutta niin voisi tässä olla edellytykset paljon lumempaa kuin loppunumeroihin. Onko Tove sanominen kysymyksiä? Kiitos, että on paha. Hei, coach, Neil Maisen, Pekka Gibson. Did you call it off, like I told you to Jeff, that you had a rough start during the season and like your colleagues on Western were told that Bison were really great for today's game. Where did that come from? Well, uh, I think there comes a point, I think there comes a point in time where your leadership, your Jeff Irons, your Martin Zenos, your Ronnie Gaines, just finally step up and, and grab the group and you got a collar like we see in practice and say enough's enough. We need to get off to the start. And uh, you know, hopefully this will, will be the start to something because uh, this year we have not gotten off to fast starts or to solid starts, I think you could, you could say. Uh, a little bit sluggish in all our games. So you know this was uh, uh, kind of long overdue, but something that I want to well. Uh, you had a chance today to, to pretty much use your full rotation for the first time in the, in, in the season. Put in our S6 again with Kibin and, uh, and Alpha and also Lapala in. Did that, uh, did that help, help, help your, your game plan or did you keep the other guys more fresh? Well, obviously, uh, you know, I, I have a plan for guys like, uh, in particular, Air Alpha. Yeah. And you know, a young guy that has uh, a lot, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of potential, uh, but he needs to be played in the right situations, not just for the sake of being played. And obviously, tonight was a very good situation for him. Up until tonight, I you think know, he's played in three of the six games. Uh, just what I would call spot minutes. You know, two minutes here, two minutes here. Uh, but, you know, uh, Ed was a guy last year that I said would be ready after Christmas. And I kind of feel that way. He's a big, big part of this team. But, you know, he, his best basketball is, is in front of him. And, uh, you know, he works hard in practice. Uh, you know, same with, with all, all these guys. <coughs> Uh, it was nice to get, you know, Santri, uh, Ero, some minutes that uh, they, they deserve. Uh, I'll just talk about your, your, your defense. Uh, your offensive game wasn't, uh, <coughs> it wasn't near you, I don't know the word, but yeah. in, in, in Salah, you still managed to take a win on a West Point game. But once again today, you kept the uh, opponent team in 60 points or 62. Yeah. Just trying to get our guys to buy into, you know, we can score points. You know, if you look at, if you look at the uh, the real statistics, we're, we're second in the league in scoring. Uh, we're kind of middle of the pack with defense. You know, I want this team, and I know these guys want to, but we got to work on it. Uh, we want to be the best defense team in the league because, uh, as we saw last Saturday night. Play defense, you have a chance to win every game. Even when you're 16 from the three, even when you're 12 for 24 from the free throw line, you still have a chance to win. 
What was your uh, sketch you like trying to do from here? Well, we got to, uh, we can't enjoy this for long because we go to Clutco on Friday. Uh, very tough place to play. Uh, nice, you know, journey for us. So it's going to take a, a tremendous effort for us to go there and win. Uh, our schedule is really good after that. Uh, not you know, to look ahead, because it's most important, but we do have three games in the next two and a half, three weeks. So we're going to be able to get that valuable practice time and rest, a mixture that, uh, you know, we... <coughs> Will you have a uh, uh, one last question? Would you have believed it uh, say a year ago when, when Tony Kogler was in the MTV? Year, you will be the best team in Finland around Barcelona's Women's League. Well, I like to think that uh, you know anything's possible. Uh, I've always said if you surround yourself with good people, and you surround yourself with people that have the same values and the same goals as what you have, sure, I believe absolutely. And uh, you know this club, not only this basketball team, but uh, my assistant coaches. Uh, managers, uh, all the way down, down to all the board members, uh, I feel as if we're on the same page. And of course, it's not going to be, there's not going to be nights like this every night. I mean, we're going to lose basketball games somewhere along the way. And that's when you learn most about people. So, you know, we haven't really been in that situation yet. But, uh, you know, uh, as long as you work hard, and, uh, you know, good things can happen. Kiitoksia, thank you, Greg. Onko paljon tälle kysymykseen? Kiitoksia, Tom Westo, Olihan Tsempiä. Tsempiä jatkoon ja thank you, Greg. Olen Westo.